Yes, so Thursday, May 16th, 2024. So I don't know, these <laughs> these old homes, brick homes, comfortable. I mean, my wife, a peasant. Again, the connotation of peasant, well, that's what happens in non-heterogeneous, right? Homogenous countries, that's their prejudice, <laughs> right? Rather than racial prejudice in, in much of the West and religious prejudice. Well, they have now religious. I mean, they've had that with Muslim occupation religion for sure but now it's um and a little you know that i'm i'm reading this nice historical book of china is they had a little what not what they consider race but like kinds of people right obviously asians are a race uh, anyway to get to my point you can look at these up ahead buildings that i think have been built i wouldn't say they're at 75 percent 80 percent occupancy if i want to throw out a guess and they probably have been raised for about five years probably right pre-covid pre-kung flu uh so just no one's buying it so i you know all these owners that are still here in existence they'll probably still be here 100 years because the economy is not going anywhere and the housing market's tanked uh, before they would just the government would just right subsidize the removal of them i don't know how much they would get per foot or per what have you, uh, to build these buildings. And now no one can afford to live in them for whatever reason, right? You can, that's a whole different episode. But yeah, this is a traditional Chinese block. I don't know how old these homes, right? Just piecemeal, like if something falls down and they put it back together. Kind of like the Great Wall. I don't know how many blocks are... <laughs> still thousands of years old right because it's just tourism people right jungle jungle right chinese people have just walked over it so many times that it needs replacing right so that's that so yeah yeah typical no mean fangzi so uh house right okay so i did i could keep filming here forever i only have hopefully a couple more months well three more months and then i'm in the big city so, but yeah, pretty interesting.